In this video, I'm going to show you how the resume error handler works in make.com. Error handlers in make are a little bit confusing. So I find the best way to explain it is through an example. And I've got a great example here for you. So this is an automation that generates Instagram viral reels. If you like, you can watch the full build of this automation here, and I'll provide a link in the card above. But in a nutshell, what's happening is we have a Google Sheet where you list your Instagram competitors, and then we have a scenario that scrapes those competitors on Appify. It imports all of their reels and posts into this sheet, and then you can kind of crunch the numbers, figure out which reel is performing well, and then you can drop it into this sheet to basically create a variation of that reel for your own profile. And that's what I've done here. And by typing go here, it triggers this automation, which fetches the reel, and then it goes through this stream where it extracts the audio from the video, and then it transcribes that audio. So in other words, it's trying to figure out what's in the reel. It analyzes the image, and then it goes to GPT-40 to create a variation of that viral reel. It creates an image or an AI image on Flux1, and then it saves it all to Google Sheets where it can then be published to Instagram. So all of that works very well. One of the members on our community left a message though saying that the scenario encounters an error when a reel doesn't have audio. And he gave an example here where this reel, if you press the audio button, the video has no sound. So what's happening here then, let's actually, I have this set up here. So let's run the scenario, wait for new data. And now if I type in go and come back to here, you'll see that that has come through from Google Sheets. It's now going to this cloud convert service to basically extract the audio from the video. But because there isn't any audio in the video, this is going to result in an error. And there you go. So that's what the member in our community had posted. So then the question is, how do you get around that? And you can see the error there. The stream is missing because there's no audio in the video. So this scenario would just stop because it has encountered an error now. And if it was enabled, it would now be disabled, which is a bit of a pain. So there's a need then to go in and try to kind of handle this situation. So yeah, I've right clicked it and I've added an error handler. You see that you get different options for error handlers. And I've chosen the resume error handler here. And that's what we're talking through. So then to come through it. So the problem then is this module is encountering an error. It needs to be handled. So then it's coming up here. And then I have no audio in real error is what we're getting. And I'm specifically handling this error where there's actually no audio in the real. This filter can only pass if this message is in the error message, you know, that the input file doesn't contain any audio. And if you look at the documentation for this, the first sentence explains it all. So the resume error handler, it replaces the module output with the substitute output when an error happens. So if we kind of come back down this track, the module directly after this conversion module, if we open it up, you can see that it's looking for a file from this module. Or even if you click map, you can see it's a file name and it's looking for data. So the resume error handler replaces or substitutes what you're going to get from this. But then the question is, what does it substitute with? And because this is kind of a complicated scenario that requires a file, what I've done is here, I've actually uploaded audio of myself to a cloud server of me just saying no audio. And then in the resume error handler, this is the output of this module. So we're substituting what we would have been getting from there with now what I have uploaded to the cloud server here. So no audio.mp3, and then it's just the, the data from that. So then by pressing OK to this, and then if we save this, and now let's run this again, and we'll type go again. Now you can see it's comes down this track. It's still going to cloud convert to strip out the audio from the video, but it's going to encounter an error because there's no audio. So once the error fires, it goes down this track, it fetches the audio file that I uploaded to the server, and then it loads it into the resume module. It's able to continue on the stream. And then if we jump in here, you can see that the file name is noaudio.mp3 and the file data is what was actually fetched in this module. So whatever dependencies you have on the outputs of this module, you're able to substitute it in the resume module and it then means that you're able to progress through the scenario. So it's a really nice kind of module to use in cases like this. I'll leave a link to the resume error handler documentation in the description below. And if you're interested in these types of automations, then check out the link in the description to our community, the AI Automators, where we have lots of system templates and micro templates to get you started. And we also have a make.com masterclass where you'll learn kind of advanced scenario building tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.